वेलकम टू टेक ट्रिल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लुक एट हाउ टू यूज गिटहब को पायलट एज इन मोड फॉर जनरेटिंग मिसिंग टेस्ट केसेस फॉर ए जावा एप्लीकेशन हाउ टू एनफोर्स द ए आई कोड कवरेज इन केस ऑफ ए जावा एप्लीकेशन इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव कवर्ड द सेम टॉपिक ए आई बेस्ड कोड कवरेज विद एज इन मोड फॉर ए डॉनेट एप्लीकेशन Today we are specifically looking at how to use the exactly the same approach for a Java application. Let us move to VS Code. Here I have a Java application, very simple application with a main function and three different class files with the different operations like array processing, calculation and file management. and a simple test case for ensuring the test setup is done and if i go to the testing area you can observe that that this particular test is executed successfully and we are going to use vs code inside a for generating test cases with the support of agent mode this project is initially generated or developed in intellij but as we have agent mode only in vs code inside right now we opened that project from the same directory into vs code insider and trying to use agent mode for generating the test cases there is no need for additional files we are in agent mode with the cloud a as the model let us ask copilot to generate the test cases So for that, first I am asking Copilot to execute the test with code coverage and add test for uncovered methods. This is a simple prompt we are using for generating code coverage as well as ensuring that new methods, test methods, get added to cover the code. it's looking at first the form file to check whether jacobo plugin is configured this plugin is mainly for java code coverage if the plugin is not configured copilot is going to configure that plugin that is what it's done right now now once the plugin information is configured it's going ahead and looking at different code bases let us run the test to ensure how much coverage is there right now even though we know there is a single test case with a zero coverage now we are going to execute so that copilot understand that how many test coverage is available the execution is completed this information is captured by copilot agent and it's understand that there is only one test case with a minimal coverage it's going to check various methods on calculator array processor and file manager and start adding the test cases it's generated the test cases for calculator class and it's still going ahead and completing the generation of the test cases for this particular class as you can observe these are the test cases right now generated even it's captured the exception handling test cases which is required for us multiple places the exception handling is also covered and it's added array processor test that's a second file got added for handling the test cases for array processor sorting reversing array contains checking find minimum maximum everything there is also exception handling is properly done the test cases for file manager is also added and now let us run again the test with code coverage agents are running the test and capturing the information as you can observe that there are 25 tests passed against each of the class files how many tests for each one and it's specifying that the jacobo coverage report is generated if you want you can go ahead and check it out and it's a uh, completed the process 
but I am not sure how many coverage is there. So let me again ask the agent to summarize the court coverage from it is mentioned the court coverage report. So I am taking the same word here. I want a summary of the court coverage, not only the number of test cases. I would like to know how much court coverage is right now available. These test cases may be covered 100% or 90%. For understanding that, I have asked Copilot agent again to give me the detailed court coverage and it's capturing the information from index.html. In case we want to go ahead and check it out, we can go ahead and open this one. Let us see how the Copilot is summarizing. It's provided the overall project coverage in terms of instructions, how many instructions covered branches, lines, the lines of code, the methods covered and the classes. And for each class, how much coverage, 100% covered, all methods, branches and lines are covered. And it's the list down the details of each of the class in terms of coverage, methods, instructions, everything. So this gives me a good understanding on how much code coverage is enforced by my Copilot agent right now. Or even I can go ahead into the test and run it with code coverage to observe how much coverage it's provided. It's provided 100% for all these methods and the same is reflected here. And app.java is 0% because it's a main function is existing here. The remaining classes 100% coverage is there. If I want to understand more about this, I can go into the report, which is developed under Jacobo. So let me just bring one new window where I can view this report, copy the path, open in a browser. This is the report generated. I will be able to go in deeper, click on each link and I will be able to see each of the function, how many lines is covered, which method it's uh, each and every information is available. If I need the code level information that is also captured here. This is array processor or it's a summary information on top level. We have used two prompt the first prompt for understanding how much code coverage and writing new test cases for closing all the gaps or adding new test cases for methods which are not covered currently the second prompt we used for getting a summary of our code coverage report which is already in any html format available if you want a summary here, you can use the second prompt to get the complete summary or you can club both the prompt to get the complete detail at one go. Try it out and share your experience. Thank you.